Uh, well, Connor, only a couple of games into the season, but how are, how are you and the team adjusting to life in League Two? Yeah, I feel uh, I feel we've started pretty pretty well. Um, a lot of positives to uh, take out of the the three uh, three games. So yeah, I think it's uh, been good so far. Have you noticed much of a of a difference between the football you played in the national league? No, um, obviously each game asks you different questions, so it's you know it's hard to answer that one. But I think we've we've you know stuck to you know the way we play, and uh, yeah, like I said, I think it's it's gone. Gone, uh, gone all right so far. It has only been a few games, but you've played at this level a fair bit before. So does that mean you find it a little bit easier to adjust? <laughs> no, look, everyone's different. I think everyone's pulling the weight. We've got pretty, uh, we've got a pretty experienced squad as it is. So, um, so yeah, I think everyone's settled in pretty, pretty quick. Um, you know, obviously we've had a tough pre-season in terms of you know the games and who we played, and uh, I think. I think that helped a lot. So uh, yeah, it's been good so far. And how important was it to get that first win early on as well? Yeah, uh, it's been good. You know, Chel um, who was it? Stevenage. You know, I, we felt we probably could have won that. Uh, I thought we played some good, good football. But then, you know, a week late against Cheltenham, it was uh, you know another another solid performance with a good first half. And uh, yeah, it was just delighted to get. A, Get the win, especially especially at home. And you mentioned the likes of Stevenage and Cheltenham, and they're, they're sort of football league names, aren't they? And Swindon at the other side, I'm sure, it gives the fans a boost. It must be nice for the players, with respect, not have to go to, to some of the names you're at. Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean um, obviously, like you said, you know, you're the likes of Swindon and all that. You know, you look on the fixture list, and you know, it's, no offence, but it, you know, it does look a lot better. And um, yeah, I'm sure everyone's excited. It, you know, lifts the fans a bit. So uh, yeah, it's hopefully it'll be a good season. I know you played in League One a little bit with with Scunthorpe, but but do you feel like you personally got got something to prove at this level? Uh, no, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I just uh, I don't think none of us are. I think we just need to stick together, uh, play our normal game, and you know things will things will happen. There was a lot of pressure on Tramway going into pretty much every game last season because of where they were expected to be in the table and, and how they needed to finish the season. Are those pressures different going into every game this year? Uh, no, I don't think. I think it's just the club in general. You know, there's a lot of high expectations here, which is you know one of the reasons why I've joined. You know, joined here. You know, that's what it's about. You know, you're always expected to win, or you know your standards can't drop. So, you know, it's I'd rather have that than the other way around. And what do you believe this team can achieve this season? Well, you know, it's it's only early. You know, we've started well, but um, you know, the three go up, and then there's um, automatically, and then obviously one in the playoffs. So, you know, if we're around there around Christmas, you know, it'd be good. Uh, Connor, you've got eight goals in your last two seasons with Tranmere in the league. Have you set out any targets this season for the league at all? Uh, no, just you know, <laughs> um, no, not really. You know, just. Keep doing what I'm, you know, been trying to do. Um, as long as we're, as long as we're winning as a team, you know, that's that's the main thing.